Moving on, President Moon Jae-in has reaffirmed South Korea's commitment to go carbon neutral by 2050. At the G20 summit on Sunday, he introduced the country's efforts to slash coal consumption as well as plans to reduce methane emissions. The South Korean leader also held summits with his counterparts from Australia and Germany. And President Moon will now join world leaders at the UN Climate Change Conference in Glasgow. Our Blue House correspondent Kim Min-ji, who's traveling with the president, follows us this report. South Korea aims to completely phase out coal-fired power generation by 2050 to join global efforts to achieve carbon neutrality. President Moon Jae-in made the pledge during a G20 session on climate change on the second and final day of the Rome summit on Sunday. Taking the G20 Rome to debut South Korea's policy roadmaps to achieve the 2050 carbon neutrality goal on the global stage, the president said although there remains 30 years until 2050, the next decade will be the make-or-break moment and call for global solidarity and cooperation. He said South Korea has shut down eight coal power plants since its term began in 2017 plans to close down two more this year, and has also stopped funding overseas coal projects. Seoul will also join a global pact to cut methane emissions by 30 percent within the next decade. South Korea emitted some 28 million tons of methane in 2018 and plans to cut that down to under 20 million tons by 2030. Moon added that the country will join hands with developing nations in their efforts to go carbon neutral by boosting official development assistance in the field of green technology. On the margins of the multilateral summit, President Moon also held one-on-ones with his Australian and German counterparts. With Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison, the two signed a partnership for low-emissions technologies, which is expected to serve as a platform for the commercialization of related technologies and reduce costs. The leaders agreed that collaboration between South Korea's hydrogen fueled vehicle technology and Australia's hydrogen energy production could create mutually beneficial synergies. In a sit down with German Chancellor Angela Merkel, President Moon asked for Germany's continued support for peace on the Korean Peninsula. Moon also praised Merkel, who is set to step down after 16 years at the helm, for boosting South Korea Germany relations in various sectors, including at the economic, political, and cultural level. The spotlight now turns to the U.N. Climate Change Conference in Glasgow, Moon's next stop. There, the president will announce South Korea's new target for reducing carbon emissions to achieve carbon neutrality by 2050. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News, Rome.